everyone today we'll talk about the time okay our lesson name is hour your classwork page 563 we will do a selected questions related to the analog clock so we'll do the question that it has a clock like this one the clock that has a face with two hands okay only this question and we'll continue this lesson next time in your homework you'll do it next time please don't do your homework today okay do it next time when we take the whole lesson now today we'll talk about analog clock what is analog clock as you can see analog clock it has a face and it's round it's a round face with a numbers you can see my numbers starting from 1 and finish 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and finish with number 12. Okay. So remember that the clock, it has a face with a numbers. There is someone I want you to see again. Say hi for Cookie. Cookie also, it has a clock. But she's sad. She doesn't know how to read the clock. So can you help Cookie to read the clock? Yes, Cookie will help you. Don't be sad. We will help you. So as you see, Cookie needs our help. So can you help Cookie to read the time? Let's start. Now on our clock, we have a small numbers, a small line. You see them? We call them minutes. What do we call them? Minutes. Now, how many minutes, how many lines do we have on our clock? Actually, if we count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9, they are 60 lines. They are how many? 60 lines. And that means they are 60 minutes. So remember this number. We have 60 small lines on our analog clock. We call it minutes. What do we call it? Minutes. Again, my clock is round. It has a numbers starting from 1 to 12. Numbers from 1 to 12. We call them the numbers. And we have a small lines. Okay? We will call them the minutes. Now, the number will help us to read the hour. Remember this in your mind. The numbers will help us to read the hour and the small lines will help us to read the minutes what that mean hour and minute let's understand what is minute first what action you can do in one minute actually in one minute you can jump on a rope like you start from one and you count till 60 can you jump let's start jump start to jump one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five and you will keep counting like we reach 30 31 32 34 35 40 41 42 43 45 46 47 48 49 50 and 51 52 53 54 59 60 so it's almost one hour uh, one minute this is almost one minute this is what you can do in one minute you can jump you can brush your teeth you can sing a song like happy birthday okay and you can wash your hands remember you need to wash your hands carefully and when when you wash your hands sing the song happy birthday to you it will if you sing this song it need only about 20 seconds to 40 seconds it's less than one minute so you need to wash your hand carefully okay so this is one minute one minute is to count from one till 60 okay now we know that you are in grade one you you can count more than step by step so you can skip count by five okay instead of counting one two three four five you can skip count 
uh, by five it's easier to you to walk on the clock so you can say 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 okay so we can count by five remember our minutes starting from one and finish with number 60 so this is one minute now how we can read the time actually to read the time we need the hands on the clock to help us because if you have only the face with the numbers you cannot read the clock so it's a clock it has a face with a numbers and it has two hands one is short and one is long now the shorter hands it's slow okay and it walks on numbers each time it move and walk on the number it say the number so if it's standing now on a three it will say i'm on three i am on a three but the long hand it's faster and it walk on minutes it's walk on this small minutes okay tick 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 it's walk on the small minutes so it needs 60 minutes to make one minute every 60 minutes it's moving one step if you count from 0 to 60 it will walk one step so the big hand it needs to count from 1 to 60 to move one step but the small hand it's very slowly it it need this long hand to do the whole round and come back to 12 again to make one hour to make what one hour to move from three to four it need one hour one hour what can i do with one hour you can do a lot of things in one hour let's see actually you can cook in one hour you can watch SpongeBob for two episodes of SpongeBob. If you watch SpongeBob for two episodes, you can. It is one hour. You can go and play in the park for one hour. You play on the swings, on the slides, okay? So, one hour that means if the small hand move from one till two. To move from one till two, this is one hour, okay? And the big hand should move the whole round the whole round now how can we read the clock we say our clock it's analog clock it has a face with a numbers it has a face with a numbers it has two hands one is short and one is long the shorter hands the hour hands it walk on numbers and say the numbers okay the longer hand the minutes hands it's walk on minutes the small lines it's walk on minutes and 60 minutes will make one hour 60 minutes will make one hour how i can read the time i will say what time is it or what is the time so let's see that on the next video